Hey YouTube, what's up? This is your girl. I'm coming back at you guys with another video. Excuse me, this is like my umpteenth time recording this video, so hopefully I get it right this time. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be alternatives to Hairfinity. Now, I am currently taking Hairfinity for the simple reason that um, I gave myself six months to be bra strap length. So that's my goal. By May, I want to be bra strap length. So that's my only reason taking them. Only reason taking the Hairfinity pills right now. Um, it's it's really just for that main reason. Um, Hairfinity is very expensive. It's like $24 a month. And not everybody has $24 a month. Especially when you can take other hair vitamins that are going to do the same thing for a lot cheaper. I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. So... Basically, I'm just going to get right into it. This is MSM, and as you guys probably know if you've done your research or if you've taken Hair Affinity, you know that this ingredient is in Hair Affinity, and it's essential for hair growth. So if you guys have seen my hair vitamins for hair growth video, you know that MSM has worked wonders for me. Like, this stuff has worked for me, but it doesn't work for everybody. So if MSM doesn't work for you or you really haven't noticed hair growth from it, you could try biotin, of course. And biotin is for your hair, skin, and nails, and it's also another ingredient within Hair Affinity. So, another option is folic acid. Folic acid also has helped me with hair growth. So, when I started taking these vitamins, I actually took all four of these. Well, this is my one a day. You, you of course, need a multivitamin with any vitamin regimen. So, I did all four of these at once. When I started, you know, I was just, you know, very eager and I was ready to see some growth. So I just took all four and I didn't have a problem. You have to figure out what works for you. Some people might not be able to do the MSM, the folic acid and the biotin all together. So you could always, you know, start out with your multivitamin and a biotin to start out just to see, you know, how it works for you. Or um, then you can do like a folic acid with the one a day. And if you feel like the biotin works good and the folic acid works good, you could do all three. You know, or, you know, if you're eager like me, you could try all four at once. I mean, I didn't have any problems with it. But like I said, everybody is different, so you never know. I personally started off with a one a day, and I believe the biotin. And I think like a B-complex vitamin or something like that. But that's not for hair. That's for like metabolism. So I was taking like, um, I started out with the biotin and then I introduced the MSM and then I introduced the folic acid. Um, but of course you have to figure out what works for you. So another um, piece of information that I wanted to share with you guys. The other day I was visiting with my gynecologist. Now my gynecologist is very earthy. And she's all about, you know, the overall health of the individual. So she doesn't just, you know, want to treat your girl part. She wants to treat the whole individual. So basically, when I came in, she kind of wanted me to write down all my vitamins and my diet and things like that. And, you know, how um, active I am. So basically, she saw that I wrote down hair affinity and she kind of looked at it and she was like, what's this hair infinity? <laughs> and she basically said, and I think this is true with any vitamin you take, you never really know what all is in it and how it affects your body. You never really know. Especially something like hair affinity. I mean, you really don't know. You know what they, they label as their ingredients, but unless you do really do your research and figure it out, you really don't know how it's going to affect your body. So she recommended to me prenatal vitamins. And I looked at her, I'm like, Girl, I ain't pregnant. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but she told me that a lot of women are deficient in vitamin C. And um, it also helps with your hair growth. So that's something that you guys can do too. If none of these vitamins work for you or if you want to try something different, this is something coming from a gynecologist. So I'm pretty sure it's accurate information. So she told me I could try that out. Now, I haven't started or tried, you know, prenatal vitamins out just because, like, right before she told me that, like, the day before I had ordered a two-month supply of hair affinity, and I'm like, I'm going to finish on my supply, okay, because I done paid for this and nobody got time, okay? So, I haven't tried that yet, but that's definitely another avenue you can go down. You can try the prenatal vitamins. She also told me when you're taking hair vitamins, don't go with a brand that you, you're not really familiar with. Like these are the Walmart brand. These are Spring Valley that I take. Um, you definitely want to go with a brand that you know, nothing that you've never heard of, like Nature's Way, Spring Valley, things like that. You definitely want to stay with the brand. Um, that's another piece of information that she told me. So 
I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to tune in next time. As I said before, you know, you have to figure out what works for you. I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm just letting you guys know what has worked for me and the things that I've done to grow my hair. And like I said, um, definitely do your research. You can go on the Hairfinity website. They have excellent information about different things that's going to help you with your hair growth. Um, like I said, MSM is definitely essential for hair growth. So that's the vitamin that I took that worked the best for me when I really wasn't in the position to spend $24 a month on some hair pills. So that's my video. I hope you guys like it. Leave any questions or comments below, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.